Hey everyone. Welcome back. It's another episode of Disco Elysium with your favorite cool people of Cool Town. Hey look, I think this is part of our police uniform because it's got oh, yeah. that holographic thing on it. Let's have a look. Because we're on the roof of something right now, aren't we? What are How we going? How are we going there? Can we? Oh, I don't like this. I don't. Are we going round? Do we have to? I thought we would have been able to just touch it from where we were. The fuck. Just letting us ourselves go because. Hang on. What's this? Yes, take that. Oh, nice. Health. Oh, thank goodness. Should we use it now? I'm gonna say no. Because you know, if we don't need it, then we'll just sleep. Going. Looks like someone left a tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. When the wind ruffles the cloak, you can most definitely uh -huh. see a white rectangle on its back. Yes. You son of a gun, it's a cop's yes, cloak. It's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. <laughs> he judges the drop. You could probably make a jump. You look like you've done some track and oh. field in your day. That's challenging. We probably shouldn't do that. Oh, 8% no. Uh, but we can maybe look around. Yes, 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 yes. There's bottles up here, by the way, so once we get a bag, we can... The wind is aggressive up, up here. The lieutenant looks at Ooh. the enormous crane towering in the distance oh. over the container yard. Okay, so this is a wall shipping area back mm. here. That machine is a Kvalsund 1020 HK. Yeah, let's say that. Say that, we sound is it? cool. Qualsun makes a lot of heavy equipment, but this is phenomenal, even for them. We just impressed him. But I digress. We were focusing on your cloak here. Mm-hmm. We sure were. Um Should I go for the jump? Yeah. The cloak? I do think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it. Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Two meters. Two meter stops. Whenever you're ready to do it, I'll be right behind you. We're gonna fuck our health up. I don't the cloak think looks like a bag of goodies floating in the wind. Who so, knows what his pockets may hide? I don't think we should do it. So we could put a point in. Let's have off here. Yeah, where is it? What a middle-ish. Should we try it? We we have had to do these quite a few times now. We could. Take, Take our off fucking items off. Our items. And then try it. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay. What is making us... Can, can we, we do that in the middle of this? Yeah, that's a good question. No. Not right now, but hang on. Let me... Let me go into my backpack. What is, what is that one? Shoes. Take off my shoes. And... And my stupid pants. Oh, no, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Tarpaulin cloak with possible RCM markings. Is Just still point into it. On the yeah, rain. and see how we go. Fuck, <laughs> I'm into this. Did you save the. Oh, you did. Okay, cool. Let's give it, oh shit, let's, let's exit. Yeah, not now, and see if you can, um. Sorry, yeah. Say that. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's go, let's, let's jump. With our no shoes and no pants. On the rain. <laughs> Weird gloves. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, I think that was a bad color. Oh, that looked not good, eh? <gasps> okay, we didn't jump, okay, okay. No, no, that's still too high. What were you thinking? You're not a gymnast, you're a boxer, and you've climbed way too high up here. Vertigo almost, this is certain death. Oh! Uh, Vertigo almost pushes you, you up the You could have edge. died there. Oh, shit, right. shit, shit, shit. I'm failing you. This wasn't part of our deal. It's fine. Hey, hey, what happened? Yes, I'm okay. I'm all right. I just can't I do understand. it right now. We can always come back when you are feeling better. What exactly it's are we doing up here? It's just a cloak, after all. I mean, we walked up here. This is. I was under the impression we are on our way to meet the king of this castle under siege, Evrard, one of the people oh. we are interviewing. This way, we may be able to get around his henchmen. Oh. Or it could be that we are just exploring. 
I feel like um, we should put our pants back on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, oh man, I feel like we need some better clothes. Oh, we do. We don't have money. Although for I feel like ourselves, Reginald, or whatever our name is. Um, I feel like we really like these clothes. I think so too. So here are these bottles, I don't think... Oh, oh money. <gasps> Is it more than a dollar? I mean, it's actual. Yes. Oh, yeah. There's more here. Yeah. We've got $4 city one. We get a four-day uh, raincoat. Surely. Okay, so if we can walk down here. Can we walk through the back is what you're thinking. Can we not get in there? Apparently not. Okay. Well, I suppose we go around the front then, eh? What do you mean? Just like back out the other side. Yeah, we can. Okay, so we can't we can't get to our cloak right now, but it's good to know it's there. Mm -hmm. And we did get a couple of dollars. We got a couple of dollars. Yeah, can we What's reach this? this? From here, maybe? No. But, I mean, we're walking right past it. What is it? This door is going to collapse soon. Oh dear. Oh, we can come through here, can't we? Restoration pillars keep the ruins together. Oh, there's some stuff. <laughs> I feel like there's stuff. Yeah. A postcard Grand Couron worth 13 cents. Great. Oh, we need every Something. Something's On pulsing. The, What's the happening? Right, we've got re items of read. So what happens if you click that? This postcard depicts an ill-advised residential area overlooking the Jamrock Quarter. 13-storey buildings lie in the hillside like sarcophagi, an ominous fog already rising from behind. These are the last boom years in 39. The project fails ca ca catastrophically, leaving behind an opiate and hepatitis B infested slum. Mm. Interesting. The handkerchief given to you by Lieutenant Katsuragi. One corner is adorned with lace and tiny embroidered courtier. What does that mean? It's worth fucking two dollars fifty. Fuck yeah. Let's go sell everything we own. Alright. coins. Oh. Yeah! Okay, nothing else. Five dollars twenty-one. We're gonna have a hundred in no time. <laughs> Take me back downstairs. I think there's a hatch in the top. about like the beating heart sound that's just mm. started happening. Hurry up! Okay, okay that was cool. So we found a back way but we can't actually progress. Not right now. For not for no known reason. Um which is interesting. But what we do want to do is sort the fridge out, right? Yes, so. and they did say um, it was at, like in front of the opposite. I think they said, right? Let's go, let's go, everybody. We gotta find a fridge. We did gotta they say find opposite? a fridge. Yeah, across from, across from. Oh, yeah. Who are you? You're not. Book bitch. I am a in my heart I'm a home. a gatherer. Feel like a traveler. Uh, a simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. Should we just listen? Keep listening. From another planet. Hey there. Uh, what's going on? It's a jam, my man. <laughs> the air from the east is thick with the smell of crude oils. Heavy metals and other byproducts of the modern era. You could almost taste it. Uh, look jam? at us right now. <laughs> we and Kim are having an intimate it's a traffic experience. traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, an all around clusterfuck. Mm. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Limbo, oh, that's days. where I am. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's official. I feel like this guy's on he our vibe. He too agrees. This is the antechamber of the afterlife. <laughs> Creaky chair. Uh, how long Feels have you been like here? Feels like forever. 
like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes and mazout. Extravagantly phrased, but I can roll with it. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. Hmm. So tell me, what do you need? Oh, money. Can you spare some change for a working huh? stiff? Oh, no, I ain't got any money. They don't want to pay for unfinished work. Huh. The bosses, man. Um... I feel like saying that's because it'll, like, endear us to him. Sure. Yeah, it sure ain't good for me. Or you. I'd spare a coin or two for a city cop down in his luck. If I had, say, four myself. Mm, fair enough. Um, what are you hauling, anyway? I yeah. feel like I didn't want to tell us. What? 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 Number three was what are you Oh. Doing? High-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, no, stuff that. like that. Relax. He's merely joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ha, no, I'm joking, my man. Found runs a nice, clean business. This hollow cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. The other guy said apples. He was hiding They usually something. get shipped to Grad in the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. Can I get, oh, can I get one of those tracksuits? With pals and all? But I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The bosses won't be happy. Uh, what's this the machine beauty? behind you? Sure is. Like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy-duty cargo machinery? Uh, apparently. The motor lorry, also called a camion, on Caillou and neighboring islands. This one looks roughed up enough to be some sort of found rust bucket. Maybe the A6. Oh, can we impress him? Good eye, my man. Yup, she's an old one. But reliable. Me and her spent a long time together. <laughs> Can I ask the top one? It's not going to tell us. You want me to? Not unless they've illegalized sports equipment while I was on the road. All right. <laughs> the man taps his fingers rhythmically Ooh, against his arm. Yeah, why, why are they it's striking? Like, whatever's going on over at the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands. No way in or out. What are they asking Some pretty for? wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. Yeah, well, interesting. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town, too. Like a strike negotiator type. They know what's mm. up. Precise demands and so on. Mm. That sounds like something ah, we yes, need to talk to. Ah, yes, from the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, Oh, uh, her. Cool. Uh, what do you think the company wants? They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. Ka-ching. Mm, he yeah. doesn't blame them, but he's not on their side, that's for sure. Anything, Anything else? else? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All us lorry oh, drivers. Sorry. Cam, your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high. Or laid. Not that I blame them, really. Mm. Well, he doesn't have any money, not my which thing. is why he's not doing it. <laughs> Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. Wow. He glances up down the road towards the horizon, a glint of something in his eyes. There you go. What do we call ourselves, Raphael? Raphael. Something to aspire to. He tries his best to look nonchalant, but there's a rigidity in him. As if trying to conceal something mm. warm and deep beneath a cool exterior. Empathy for middle. What do we see in his eyes? Fuck it. Let's go. Ease into it. Don't go too far. This okay, seems no, no, no. like a personal matter. Mm. <laughs> I want to know about your soul. I want to say that. My man, I want to know about your soul. We might have a... We've been warned not to. I mean, you're right. All right, all right, all right. We've got a spare morale. Yeah. Cool, cool. We all want to know each other, know each other's woes and all. But people, man, they have slippery souls. Okay, great. That's Just true. like that, he slips out of your reach. <laughs> it is possible the yelling <laughs> didn't help. Great, thanks. Okay, cool. Do you know anything he ain't about one the of those drivers. I know that. Okay. 
all accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. Yeah. It's Keep him easy busy to wasting see time. He's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. All right. Never mind. Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. Yeah. Uh, what's your conclusion? A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, Put skill more. points into empathy to open this white check. Okay. Right, right. All right. Thanks very much, mate. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Lonesome. Long <gasps> yes! way home. Tell us where we live. Here we go. Home awaits. Walk past Station 41 and through the market. Past the Boogie Street spearhead to the other side of the lake. The frozen eye at the center of the district. Then... Past the video rental store on the corner. There, at the end of a street lined with pine trees. A small house, no larger than a matchbox. Eleven Voyager Road. You no longer live there. We those don't times live there. are gone. And so are those people. Why did you come here? Why are you still here? And where's the dealer? You have to get back to work. That's all uh. you have now. Scrunching my face. What the heck? <sighs> Learning cap for perception is raised to five. Speed gives one sigh. What is sigh. Uh, well, well, we've got nothing else to internalize, and I'm not going to internalize. Two, so two being things. We should a sad con sack. continue looking for the warehouse, but we could also speak with Kim because remember we were going to ask him about his bomber jacket. That's true. We were. I really want to find this place. Like it's really irritating me. So mm -mm, okay, I'm just going to like run around until I find things. So we thought it might be. It's just. Is there just a door? An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip III, the squanderer, the greatest of the Philippian kings of Revachol, son of Philip II, the opulent, father of Philip IV, the insane. Hmm. As you look up, you notice something about the statue. There are some odd indentations on the king's chest piece. Let's, let's ask the indentations number two first, and then we might... Something with great kinetic energy seems to have impacted the cuirass around where the heart is. Is this the piece of the armor? Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh. Someone shot him in the heart. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I can see it, but I take your word for it. What well, Martinez is riddled with bullet holes. This place saw a lot of action during the revolution. But the statue is recently renovated, so maybe a joke? Target political. practice or a political statement? It's a king and he's shot. Sounds political to me. I want to ask this one, okay. because if mm. it's the piece of armour that we're looking for. Well, I didn't think so, but... I think it's because it's just describing that piece of art. Like, it's the name of that piece of armor. The chest know, piece. But it could be connected. Okay. If we connect every bullet hole in Martinez to the murder, <laughs> we'll get an overwhelming amount of loose thread. But then again, we don't really know what we are dealing with here, so. I've made a note. Don't hold your breath. The king stands high above you, surveying the bay. That's right. Mute and indifferent to your sightings. Even by the yes. standards of the Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philip was known for his profligacy. What Man, is profligacy? they're really uh, pushing pushing my vocab on this game. What's profligacy? Maybe it's like, hey Google, being pro <laughs> um, what is profligacy? Wow, I don't know. It's not profligacy. Like being profligate. Reckless extravagance or wastefulness in the use of resources. Mm. Licentious or dissolute behaviour. There you go. Well, he blew through the whole national treasury. 
starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the suzerain of Revachon. Uh-huh. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution, an end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. It's interesting to me, so, like, they're using uh, French words in this context, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and French accents. Um, and the date is, like, 4,000 and something, isn't it? It's is like, it? It was, like, way more than our current... I didn't see that. I just saw because we were fifty-one or whatever it was, and we said yes. But what, what, what decade? Or what? I think it. I think it came up at some point, and it was mm. like more than a thousand years from where we are now. Ah, okay. okay and okay. I guess I just, um, I'm interested whether they're framing this as like an alternate our world, like maybe like instead of the British Empire being the biggest empire and taking over the French Empire was the big one that took over. Mm. Or whether it's literally just a completely different world and they're just choosing to use things like French words to save them from having to come up with a whole new alphabet kind of, uh, you know, like, language base. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, How did he manage to blow through the entire national treasury? Stories have it that he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable wealth. Krugerrands, bars of gold, ornate weaponry, armour, and various chalices. It's like Krugerrands are South African gold, right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they are. He called it the Sol Auron. It was obscene. There were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold-dipped feathers, like some obese dragon, (laughs) instead of a bed, like a normal Nobody would do that. That would be so uncomfortable. (laughs) There's no way that's true. (laughs) Yeah. But wait, you haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. Yes, I do want to know. Sure. You see, old Philippe wasn't just good at squandering the national treasury on gold and ceremonial weaponry. He was also a prodigious snorter of nose candy. Um, yeah. This is a lot to process. (laughs) His Majesty's courtiers said it helped him connect with the Higher realms. Uh, uh, what, what is the nose candy? I mean, we know what the nose yeah. candy is. Do you want me to say that anyway? Nah, let's go with where is he buried. Beneath the cold waters of the Insulindian Bay, oh. thrown there by the revolutionaries after they cleaned out the royal mausoleum. Okay. What the original the was blown apart by communards, then further damaged during the landing of the coalition's airships during the turn of the century revolution when Martinez was leveled. Mm. Most historians think the coalition's hasty landing may have ultimately saved the statue. If the communards had more time, they would have reduced it up to even finer pieces. Mm. Yeah, who restored the monument Some years ago, a group of liberal, artistically inclined individuals, designers mostly, thought it would be ironic to restore the statue of the most wasteful ruler of Rivershaw in the poorest part of the city. Okay, so it's not recent. The statue is supposed to capture the moment it was blown apart, like an instant frozen in time, a rare butterfly trapped in amber, floating I like that. on a sea of mm. shit. People in Martinez tend to disagree, as do many prominent art critics and thought leaders with more nuanced social awareness than the young ironists. Seems like good art to me. Philip III, the squanderer, however, with his bronze face up in the air, doesn't seem concerned about what the hoi polloi think of him in death. Right. Not that he ever did in life either. Okay, all right. Cool, cool, cool. That's like a perfect example of... Oh, save. That scares me. It does, Um, yeah. Of me saying, I'm just going to run around and then immediately getting distracted really want to find this fucking bookstore. I feel that that is the point of this game, though, is to... Get you ex- distracted? Mm, and explore what you come across, so I think that, that seems... That's fine to me. Can you please... Maybe it's further down the road south? Yeah. Mm. Oh, the running is so good. <laughs> okay, here's a tree... 
an ancient fountain. It doesn't pump water anymore. There's a tree in it. Fair enough. What's that? Ooh, I perceive something. A sewer grate, a gateway to the river of filth. Oh, I'll go around there. Is this something I can pick up? Plastic wrapped macaroni stamped with humanitarian aid. The guy saying everything is good here. It says humanitarian aid tuna fish, not for Risa. Is he selling it? He's selling it. You see a Cimarron street vendor surrounded by a motley assemblage of goods. When he realizes you're looking at him, his face breaks into a wide, welcoming grin. I don't want to buy anything. Sile is embroidered over his breast pocket. Happy shopping, officer! Everything's cool here! What's so cool? Everything's cool! The goods are cool, the customers are cool, the place is cool. And one more thing, officer. What else? Very cool. Bang, 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 bang! Do you have my gun? <laughs> Whether I'm cool is unimportant. I have police questions for you. Can I? I want to find out if he has my gun. Okay. Oh, yes! You got style. You got personal style. You know what you like. He surveys his consumerist kingdom with an air of satisfaction. You like premium menswear. Look around and browse. Everything looks cool on a guy like you. Take your time. He settles back into the pile of boxes he's sitting on. Don't be distracted by the flattery and funny man act. Questions. Uh. Fuck it. Persuade him to give us some money. Do it. <laughs> Okay. Start yes. with a oh my gosh. Then work your way up from there. This is about business, remember. You hey. seem like a really successful entrepreneur. Would you like to support a member of the local oh, police force? Okay. But why, officer? Mm -hmm. an, it investment. As an investment. What kind of investment? Oh. One of the top two. And this is a oh. good relationship with the I RCM. Hear you, officer. What kind of a sum <gasps> are we talking about here? Well, five I'm or gonna ten. go low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Only a fiver? You okay. can't even buy a pack of Royal Extras with that. Ten, I guess. Let sounds like a fair deal all around. Yeah, that was really good. He bribed us. <laughs> yeah. It's just like bus or seagull. A kid watching out of a window describing things going by. He doesn't like it too much, but what do you do? Oh. What kind of stuff are you selling? Only the coolest goods in Revachol. I've got sneakers, speakers, extremely comfy pants too. Try them on right here. No shame, only freedom. Um, Where'd you get these comfy I'm pants? I'm an entrepreneur, officer. I've got sources. Buyers, suppliers, distributors, manufacturers, wholesalers, all extremely cool and above board. Cool. <laughs> Is there a discount for cool officers like me? No need for discounts at oh. ceilings, officer. Everything's already on sale. Anything you want, 50% off. <laughs> okay. But did he first mark them up 100%? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he did. Just yeah. so yeah. that he could put them on sale. Well, no, he's prime. No, he's yes, prime. it's a business secret. Let him keep it. I'm not going to ask that. No, no, let's, uh, yeah. Anything for you. Uh, I guess I'll ask this just because mm -hmm. it's you here. You mean these delicious pre-packaged shelf-stable meal kits? Really easy to cook, no hassle, really cheap too. Buy some, try them out. No hassle. There's a little of a hassle here, it appears. A moral hassle. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to say? Don't I'm inclined play games. towards the four, but... Four? Buy it. I was thinking, don't play games with this me. What's here. going on? The one above it. Like, we don't know this guy. He's already given us money. Yeah, but I guess I'm just kind of like, what the fuck? Like, what? what, what it's not like we're going to stop whatever I guess not. scheme he's got going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although this one does sound quite funny. <laughs> Go for it. This one? Yeah. Or this one? Top one, I reckon. It is! 
Practically free. Yours for five cents a piece. Rock that tuna. Why not some hmm. macaroni too? All right. Well, if they're delicious, it's okay. <laughs> they're very delicious and shelf stable. You can keep all this out in the sun come summer. Try it. Buy some tuna. Won't rot. Unrotable. Okay. Where are you from, my friend? Me? It's a boring story, officer. Who cares about the past? I'm all business now. All revachon. This man probably comes from Seagai, sometimes known as the Apricot Suzerainty, an archipelago in the Samaran Isola. Um, I kind of feel like the third one. Okay, because it's just like he, he doesn't want to us. ask about us. Yeah. Very cool. I like your style, officer. All right, we're out of here. I'll look around. What can I buy? Food gift from the people of Messina. Uh, there are I clothes buy? inside. Don't be Anything? shy. These are premium class clothes. Save the economy. That sounds off. Mm. Save the economy with your style, officer. You find your hands deep in tattered and faded garments made from weird polyester blends that make your body itch and sweat in all the wrong places. The yes. box smells like cat piss. Oh no. Or like an old person with no money. Economical, but also trendy. Look first hand, buy second hand. Keep the economy moving. Find something worth salvaging? Yeah, it's good shit. No good. Nope. All you can come up with are some treated wool pants. Nah, you can tell they're too tight around your thighs and too loose around the waist. I'm gonna touch they itch them. Like hell. Okay. Like a oh, it's just in case we found something in the pockets. Mm -hmm. All natural materials, see? No, I do not want the itchy pants. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what's, what's here? You see two lowly, defeated speakers. Thralls. Slaves, basically. Perched atop them like conquerors surveying the land. A pair of found, durable wear sneakers. Give me Ultra cool. serious. Shoes. I can see you have a taste for luxury, officer. Can't keep your eyes off those sneakers? A pair of found ultras. The design is impossibly sleek and simple. A futuristic silhouette with a sleek monochrome colorway, a jet black upper, and a silver lined midsole. Those sneakers, mister. Those sneakers are the latest 50. found sneakers. Super what? air, super fine, super cool. Only 50 real. No. no. Only that fun ultra. We're the future. You remember Fuck the slogan off. from some right, magazine. Let's... Nope. We're leaving. Where is this fucking shop? All right, let's run. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. What's this? Sorry. I can't control myself. It's like, help line to the company that controls the drawbridge. Mm. So is there a bridge here that we can't cross? Is that what that is? Oh, are yeah, you the bookstore? Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. Let's go. What that's are you? What saying. Pawn shop! Do you have my gun? Well, you if you do, it. you're probably not going to sell it back to me for $15. Will, but we might find it, right? If we can locate it, then it's going to be another... If we can find it, then it's better than nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Some kind of machine, an antique cash register. The bust Blah, of a woman. The plaque simply says DEI. In the dark, a film projector is whirring away. Oh, yeah. Some cool You see rows of toy soldiers here. guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Some on horseback, others in rags, others yet in bright blue uniforms. All Look are stern the, and unyielding in their duty. Mm. Yeah, the poor shop guy is in his own little cage. Oh, case, maybe. Try to find something pretty and cool here. Then use it to win her back. Win her back? Win her back? What are we talking about? Yes. Buy something nice. A figurine. Should we give us a go? Yeah. Why? What's this? A headless man riding a horse. A headless man wearing futuristic tracksuit trousers that save foul. What is this? What is oh, this? That's the headless phone rider. Mm. The headless phone rider. It's an urban legend. 
about a man who rides the streets of Revachol sporting a fawn tracksuit. As you see, he's missing his head. Wow, that's a great 50 cents. Story. Bargain Ooh. price. I'll throw in the tiny cap too. Do we want I this? think he's looking for it or yes. something. Okay. That part of the story has many interpretations. Let's get it. Did I mention that this figurine is supposed to be lucky? Ugh. Always carry it with you. Okay. Should I investigate any of this other stuff or? No, 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 no. Let's ask him about. We'll see what's in the case or if there's anything else around around the. What I'm trying to say is we need to know about a gun, which Mostly might require... military wear with a few more eccentric fashions thrown in. Oh, yeah, well, a, a very large red T-shirt with an impressive print hmm. stands out from the other garb. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The print depicts a muscled man striding toward you, a giant sword in each hand, encircled by burning embers. Behind him is a cluster of cabins engulfed in flames. Beneath him are the words, Hyomdal burning. Great. The antlers on the hood of the man's cloak and his piercing blue eyes it. are familiar. Sniff it. I will sniff the Smell t-shirt. Like worn cotton and a little old sweat there. Okay. Worn cotton with a side of flea market or trash bin. Mm. Sniffing is okay, but please don't try anything on. Can't have you leaving your photon emissions in the fabric of things you're not going to buy. Okay. okay. You're not imagining it. Photon emissions? <laughs> what is he talking about? I don't want the t-shirt. How much are you selling too it for? Real. Oh, too expensive, too expensive. That's dirt cheap. Well, sure, but... Couldn't you just give it to me for but free then? Why? Because I'm a broke cop. I sympathise, I do. But this is a for-profit enterprise. I don't want it for too real. Ooh, plus one physical instrument, plus one shivers, but minus two authority. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. I just, I mainly actually just wanted to know if it had any stats associated with it. So that's, oh, sure. that's good to know. Um, t shirt. A typical Montenegro streetlight sits among assorted floor and table lamps. Is that a yes, streetlight? Officer. As you see, it's in perfect working order. Why isn't it on his the street? His manner is casual, but his speech is careful, measured. He wants you to know that he has nothing to hide. It was get? brought to me to be altered. We are not here to investigate the theft of city property. You have to admit it's rather clever what he's done with it. Run your eyes over it, yeah. The light pole has been carefully cut and the wiring has been redone and attached to a standard indoor plug. The light buzzes faintly, but persistently. This would make quite a statement in your living room. We don't have a house! <laughs> no, well, not that we know of. I assume we do have a house, or we live somewhere. <laughs> well, not if we've been kicked out. Or if it was recent. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not. Um, but now we have a statue to give to. How much for the street grail. light? A bargain, oh, I dare seven say. hundred? Yeah. There's also the matter of rewiring, but the most important transformation is the light's placement among ordinary indoor fixtures, which has adjusted its morphological field. The light became suitable for use inside the home just a few days ago. Uh huh. We, yeah. Nah, I thanks. like that it's locked and it just says you have fourteen dollars. <laughs> like, just like we. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Do you have my gun? It's not often that I see officers from the RCM in my pawn shop. Mm -hmm. What can I do for you? you His courtesy is not insincere, but he prefers being alone with his projector, just watching the movement of light across the walls of the shop. Well, sorry, I feel like I'm interrupting you. Oh, no, not at all. I guess I haven't had many customers lately. RCM or otherwise. Okay. Who are your customers usually? All kinds of people come through here. Locals, travelers, people looking for a deal, people looking for a keepsake. People who are terminally bored. Mm. As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. 
Ooh, I was just looking at it. honestly, I think some of your selections are more tasteful. Ah, oh, no, hang on. Maybe we should just say quite the collection. I don't want to insult him. It keeps me entertained. So electrochemistry is oh, we wanna see if he's high. Yeah, why not? Just is it a is it a white chick? Yes, let's just see if we no, we can. We, I guess we're just trying to figure out whether we can we can determine that. Feeling warm yes. and enthralled by the movement of light, while the mind continues to race forward. Lucky bastard, he's probably on parolidon. It's tough to come by on the street. What a drug is that? developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. Oh. It has psychedelic side effects, and it makes your eyes turn yellow. There's a woman here. Yeah. I tried to keep the shop at a comfortable temperature. Those triangle patches on his vest. You have a feeling they mean something. Like they're similar to the halogen rectangle on your jacket. <laughs> uh, I feel like either three or one. Yeah. What are you feeling? One. I was... I was with the Emergency Relief Brigade, you know, after the People's Pile disaster. <laughs> that sounds like something terrible. I don't know what that is. So maybe he's that drug he's on for medical reasons. Well, I don't know. Had to take Perolodon for radiation sickness. Mm. That's what you were hinting at just now, wasn't it? Yes. He's taken it for mental and emotional, not physical pain these days. Tell me more about this emergency relief brigade you were part of. We were an all-volunteer force, self-organised, tried to help the fire brigades contain the spill. Oh. On the patch, gamma radiation lines crossed with a red drop of blood. Contain the spill, I lived so... by the river since I was a small boy. The Esperance. Didn't have the art to let it all go to shit without trying to do something to help out. I'm wondering if it might. Tell there us. wasn't much the volunteer force could do, however. We wasted years in the river mud, years getting sick. What is this people's A bad pile? idea. Some poor leftist built a particle decay generator in hopes of bringing affordable electricity to underserved communities. It malfunctioned. Radioactive waste everywhere. Probably huh. some of it in you, too. Shit. That uh, must, must have been be tough. tough. Yeah. There's a reason why everyone's tried to forget any of it ever happened. And why no one has tried to repair or replace the pile. Did you... I know you, um, follow, uh... Oh, what's her name? That mortician. Mm, um, ask a mortician. Yeah. Caitlin Doherty, yeah. Uh, did you watch the recent doco she did about that shipwreck in I did. the Chicago River? Yeah, wild, hey? Wild! wild. Absolutely wild. I had never heard about any of it. Ugh. Um, for, for people who are watching, um, tell them what Ask a Mortician is, because I've only seen like two of her videos. Um, she's a mortician and she runs sort of a death positive um... Well, it's not the right way. Uh, she she's kind of death positive, and she has a. Um... She sort of started out by kind of just helping people understand stuff around. Yeah, understand death and the not the dying process itself, but the um... process of dealing with bodies. And exactly. Stuff. Yeah. The funeral and um, taking yeah, as you say, taking care of bodies process. Um, she's got a I think a funeral home and. I think she's possibly just sold it California, and they focus on um, like natural kind of burials, right. so not using um, chemicals and what's it called when you oh formaldehyde and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Um, yeah, So not doing that sort of stuff, uh, but also if that's what you want to do, she's like, you do your death the way you want to do death, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and just recently, she she's got over time and she's gained more of a following now she um, does documentaries because she's got a quite a big following on Patreon about disasters and death and how people approached and handled it yeah, yeah yeah and she recently did a documentary on was it the east east end east something 
a boat you, you keep going. that uh, capsized in the Chicago River with like two, two and a half thousand people on it, and it's one of the worst disasters that's ever happened in Chicago, and like 800 people died, I think. Um, anyway, I don't know it's why I'm bringing Eastland. that up. <laughs> um, oh, because they're talking about a disaster. That's why I'm talking about it. It was just really an interesting... Uh, it kind of got... Um, shafted by YouTube who were like we're not gonna allow this video because it's not it, it not, violates community guidelines it violates community guidelines because it talks about death and and it's not and, educational and, and they're like it's not educational which it clearly is because it's a documentary and it has a documentary format and so it's really weird anyway and ask specialists about their views and opinions yeah, yeah. and she like interviews heaps of people and, and has gone to lots of locations the video is called it. The Forgotten Disaster of the SS Eastland. So check it out if you're interested. But I guess it, it was interesting, like how this guy's talking about how the locals were like, I didn't want this terrible thing to happen in my community. Mm. It was an interesting story because there was kind of like a weird tension between like locals who were trying to help all the people who were drowning in the river and like the police who were like, stay back, stay back. And kind of like lots more people died than probably needed to. And even the captain made really bad decisions that also made more people die than needed to. And it was just like, obviously there's nothing that can be done about it now, but it's, it was just an interesting case of like how in a mo in a in an extreme moment people can make really bad calls mm. that probably if they weren't stressed and making decisions on this on the split second they probably would have gone actually that's really stupid why would I do that mm -hmm. um, for example one of the more interesting examples was there were some welders who went to the site because yes. they were trying to they were like we can we've got the equipment to cut open the bo the, the, the boat which is upside down it, right? right and and then the police were like no 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 you you have to stay back you have to stay back because there were gawkers and stuff there as well so anyway i don't know why i thought so of much that but there we go <laughs> an early death cancer mostly and we knew all that was coming even as we were cleaning up as best mm. we could no ones. Everyone's. Mm. So much bitterness. That's pretty a sad. A bunch of poor people built themselves a primitive nuclear reactor, hoping for the best. What do you think is going to happen? Mm. How'd you end up running a pawn shop? The clean-up happened 15 years ago. I was young then. Later, my second aunt died left me this shack and all the assorted junk in it. So Thanks. I came to Martinez. People told me don't go there. It's a shithole. I said, people, we just had a nuclear pile <laughs> meltdown. I'm going to get as far away from Forberg as I can. Still in the same city, but... All right. Thanks for I like the theory me. more than the story. Outward movement. Not vortices. Yeah, you got to get in on those vortices, my man. Uh, I'm not going to want ask for drugs because. By the one, the way, do you um happen to have any guns? <laughs> like the ones Someone carried by cops. Someone else came here earlier today <gasps> asking the same question. Get it! I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. Fuck! This is a pawn you pawned. Shop, and it did oh, seem shit. as if you've met before. Oh God. <sighs> The lieutenant shifts from one foot to another. Alert. We can't afford. Can we use a health thing just yeah, in case? Yeah, that's what I want to do, but... What if you click on the little three plus? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Thank you, Issa. Yeah. Um, what happened to all the money? Oh, we splashed on booze and drugs, didn't we? Wait, I you, sold you my gun. Uh... You were adamant about getting rid of it, officer. Said you were oh. undeserving of a service weapon of the Reva Shoal <laughs> Citizens Militia. Well, well, And I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts, photon emissions. Mm, okay. The unhealthy kind. The buyer was also she a police person. She didn't seem like a policeman. Although she kept referring to herself as a pig. Which was odd. 
I found her interest in the gun a bit... obsessive. But I was just happy to get rid of it. And of her. Oh, my. <sighs> Truth be told, she was terrifying. Okay. Right, so you have my I think it is right. You sold your sidearm, issued by the citizen's militia, and now a civilian is running around the streets of Martinez with it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You're right that she could cast aspersions on the force. We have to find out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where I can find My her. apologies, officer, but I have no idea where she was you coming describe from her. or where she went. I've got these great gloves and I'm holding a crowbar. The just tell us. in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it now. You just have to hope you luck upon her somehow. Fuck. <sighs> of course. Um... Other than you might be able, yeah, that one. I doubt it, but I can try and answer any questions you may I have. I don't care about any of those. I mean, I guess. I do my best to keep my distance from all manner of butchery. Bad for business, bad for everyone. He doesn't you know, know where the bookshop is. Okay. The uh, pawnbroker's gaze cool, is let's already fixed. At least we know about our gun now. Fuck, that's terrible. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's leave and see if we can romp around and find. But we've got a great figurine. We do have a great figurine from that whole that whole fiasco. So hey, <laughs> maybe it's north. Do you want to Google it for me, my friend? Yeah, I will do. If because it's actually have pissing me off at this point. Like, where is the pawn shop? Because, like, we as you said, it's the pawn shop bookshop. Um, the commercial building. Across from uh, the Whirling. Explore the Whirling. Just Seek. west of the hotel. Never eat soggy wheat bix. Yeah, that way. Okay. Okay. Um. Just don't want like the day to end, you know? Oh, while I'm uh, fucking around. Go left from here if you can. I'm just going back up to where the Whirling is. So. West would be this direction, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's not the big building, but is there another building? Ah, oh, is that the bookshop? Are you a bookshop? Oh, it's books! Oh, amazing. Hello, sir. Fuck me, Dad. Step right in. The store is open. It was right there. <laughs> Hello. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? What kind of store is this? It's a bookstore, sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. It's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. Okay. Whoa. Great name for a show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses, little girl. <laughs> I know all these things. I know all these things. You're fooling nobody. Don't, Don't you sass me, me, brain. Are you okay? <laughs> You've been standing here silently for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care. I just want to get into your secret Let's cabinet. go. Oh, we need to um, big. Kuno said. Oh, true, 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 true. Is it her or there's multiple people? Okay, well, I'm gonna save. I would say, whoop, that's probably her, eh? Should we investigate anything first or just go straight just to talk to her? her? Welcome to Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. My name is Plaisance. Plaisance. Be welcome. Right name. And please take responsibility for the energy you bring into this space. Yep, fair enough. We, uh... Can I ask you for money? Yeah. Sir, don't be ridiculous. I certainly will not give you money. I would be doing you a grave psychic disfavour. Okay. okay. One has to earn one's success, even if one is a police officer. Handouts are nothing but manipulation. All they do is make you dependent. Mm. That's a very upper I mean, class person. So then we wouldn't give food to babies, to be right? said about dependence. Uh, <laughs> I really find these things about like we think us of our like our delusions of grandeur are kind of amazing. Like where are they coming from? Do you want to go? Do you want to say that? No, I don't. <laughs> well, let's just say it was a lapse of judgment at the very bottom one. Unless you want to say the top one. I'm kind of curious about this. Oh, yeah, yeah. But what common enemy are we talking about? I have no idea. I'm going to ask it just to see Now, what hey happens. 
sounds like someone isn't taking responsibility for the energy they bring into this space. Okay, Fighting fine. enemy. My philosophy is everyone just getting along. Okay. Are you the owner? I am. The proudest owner of our little shop of culture. <laughs> Her voice is high-pitched as if to give it more penetration. Um, we need to know about the fridge. Let's get into it. Yeah, I feel like we've, we we need to, like... Warm her up. Warm her up then a bit. why are you talking to me? Everything is on the shelves to browse. Don't you feel compelled to buy anything? See those shelves there? Go. Be drawn. What type Everything of is on have? the shelves. Take a look yourself. Okay. She smiles and nods, seemingly relieved. Mm. I'm just I'm just going to have a look at the books and, and try and warm her up a bit. A small mountain of colourful board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by Wirral-related merchandise. Mm, what An is endless that? variety of source books, law books, and codices litter the table. The topmost book is titled Welkin Compendium. Ah, I feel like that's edition. a D&D &D, uh, reference. There's also a large hardbound tome with intricate cover art, The Hunters of Catawack, Boreal Creature Compendium. And a Pick Your Path adventure game book titled uh, Tales of Wirral, Cavern of Velcrag. That's funny. Books in a board game section. <laughs> Who wants to read books? Uh, anything that There's catches my eye? There's a box that says Wirral, third edition mega setting supplements module. The side panel notes, a fantastic adventure board game, <laughs> new maps and miniatures, a sticker on it displays 25, 25 real. Too expensive. That price is steep, but then it's the third edition mega setting supplement, so it <laughs> makes sense. Okay, don't care about that. What's over here? Yeah, I might say, what's that dot? Old sports magazine is tucked away in a dark corner. The book collects the national recipes for Arda. They are all about the lake trout. Or about the lake trout. All about lake trout. The display rack is brimming with worn paperbacks featuring an extremely muscular, oh, sword-wielding oh. barbarian on the cover. Nearly all the titles contain the word Hjelmdal somewhere. Tell me about the oh, muscle man book. Man from Hjelmdal. A very popular series of adventure novels. They're awfully immoral and violent books. Blood and violence, scantily clad women, epic narratives, all those mystical things he encounters. They're bound to grab those with little imagination and nothing to do. We want to butter up, so it's the second one, eh? Yeah. At yeah. last, someone's sensible. However, I still urge you to buy one. Can't judge a book by the cover, they say. If you're a novice of the series, I'd recommend oh, Hjelmdalaman, the man from Hjelmdal. It's supposed to be a good introduction to the series. Um, not for nine. That's nope. almost all our money. Uh, something here. Something just came oh, it's up. Oh, the figurine. Okay, that's nice. Okay, uh, shall we big her now? Yeah. The only other thing would be to do would be to go upstairs. Mm. But what do you think? I'm right, gonna do it real quick. Okay. okay. <laughs> Quaint picture book brochure. Very colourful. It's a tome of fascist magic. Rather candid, okay? The plaque on the shelf reads, Biographies of Famous People. You see a... Give me something mysterious and magical. This bookstore is not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranatural literature. That's what um, I want. Sir, please, no browsing in that shelf. That wisdom is not for free. Oh. I can't have you end up, like, opening a police store next door and stealing my customers. Oh, no. Amidst the sweet. various books, you <laughs> find one written by someone named Matthias W. Dundas. It's about wholeness, unity, balance. Yes, this These is exactly what I want. These things are very important to the working class mind. The point of the book, and many others on this shelf, is to give people medicinal advice in situations where they don't have access to paid health services. Yeah, how does that work? It serves platitudes while also telling everyone 
that traditional medicine, the kind people don't have access to and which costs more than this book, is garbage and would only give you cancer anyway, without even curing your cold or anything. Okay, sounds like something this lady would love. Balance. It's On scathing the other of both. Can basically the take care of itself. anything. Oh, shit. And, Though and it is important oh. to note, when the it's up to your that. mind to heal Sorry. yourself, then it's because of your mind that you're ill in the first place. Scathing yeah. of the types of books themselves and of the system that leads to those books existing and people not being able to access health. Care. Yeah. Various paranatural books still litter the shelf. Oh, I wanted to be like, lady, I'm interested in this so that she likes me. Another boring book just discarded here. Okay, shall we go do some begging? And Several yeah. maps have been attached Sorry. to a bulletin board hidden inside the alcove. They're held up by small pins. The board has come loose from one corner. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map of Insulinda, a map of Revachol, and a map of Martinez. Where are we? We're in Revachol. The north coast of a verdant island is shattered by the delta of a river. It is the River Esperance. Countless bridges put the shards back together, connecting city blocks to river islands. La Delta says a great artificial heart in the center, teeming with life forms and construction. To the east, rolling hillsides, Le Jardin, Stella Marie, the suburbs of Saint Baptiste, swallowed up into the mega city. They sound rich to you. This is Rivershaw East. Hmm. Hudon, it's somewhere to live, not bad. Then there's Jamrock, it's bad. People shouldn't live there, but they do. Then Forberg. It's almost as bad and much larger. Then Coal City. It's the worst. In Martinez? It's so small you can't even see it on the map. No, wait. There it is, north of Jamrock, the strip of coast next to the Greater Rivershall Industrial Harbour. It looks downright despondent. It's almost Coal City, to be honest. Hmm. No, this is somewhere to be. This is all you have but it's still something. Streets and sodium lights, the sky, the world, you're still alive. Mm. I'm not going to, but I'm going to I'm ask sorry, her if officer, I can buy them. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. And besides, you could scarcely afford them. Yeah, They're we did quite just ask you for money. Though they might not look it. The map of Martinez is 90 cents, though. Oh, why is it so That's cheap? thing. It's an out-of-date map of a tourist location that never was nor came to be. From when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up four or five huh. years ago, they also renovated the horse statue, set up those coin-operated viewers, and designed the new street lamps. Hmm. The place does not look like a successful tourist trap, does it? Well, they didn't get that far, for some reason. A shame the project never got going. Would be nice if someone fixed Martinez up. All these ruins are bad for business. I'm gonna buy it. Okay. Because I want. Always it. good to be informed of your surroundings. <laughs> All right, let's leave and now. Go I feel back. like that was like a relatively cheap way to maybe get her on site. Oh, what was that? What was that? Go, go back. Everyone knows the most interesting thing about fascists was their magic. Okay. All right, lady. Let me into your fridge. Jeez. Hello again, esteemed officer, and welcome to crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. Great. Such a shit name for a, a shop. A fridge? No, I don't know anything about a fridge. Aren't you interested in books? That's why I bought a map. For whatever reason, she's lying to you about the fridge. Mm. Seems like you have to find your own way to the <gasps> Okay, We okay. should leave it there anyway. Who's Annette, the little girl yes, standing outside? My daughter. Oh, her daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. Tell me, was she at her post doing her job like a proper girl? She was. Wonderful. Did you talk to her? Sort of. Great. On a scale of one to ten, how compelled were you to buy books after talking with her? Oh, ten. Absolutely. My precious, her dedication brings joy to my heart. If you have children, I hope they turn out as great as Mayanette. Uh, 
Number two, she's a she's a As great a young girl should be. With the proper attitude, she'll have a bright financial future. <laughs> the woman before you scans the store. Her right. shoulders rigid and tense. I wonder if it'll update our quest then. Can we, we just get behind the counter? Can we just find do it? a way in there? She's not, she's not gonna let us go through, is she? You see a set of tattered curtains oh, blocking yes. the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtains. Okay. Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees oh, look, look, only. Pull over. Can I examine this first? Yeah. You see some kind of charm. An irregular polyhedron assembled from bones, sticks, and straw. Oh. Inside, a disturbing fish head with empty eye sockets stares at Freaky. you. That seems... Very cursy. This is a traditional Seminese ward, meant to provide protection against ill luck, bad dreams, curses, and other supernatural scourges. Okay. Who are the Seminese? Inhabitants of Ile de Fantôme, the Seminide Islands down south. Aside from poking at it suspiciously, there is nothing else to do with the fish head charm at this time. The well, curtains no. remain shut before you. I really wish I could say that, but okay. Just as you're about to pull apart the curtains, the petrified voice of the shop owner cries out once more. Sir, don't touch that. I told you it's off limits for the customers. I as don't care. Psychologically speaking, we're done if you decide to open them. I won't be oh. held responsible for the consequences. It's too dangerous. I want to she say. looks away, mumbling. Why is everyone always messing with the curtains? Why can't they just buy books like normal people? I sense this place is calling for me. I must investigate beyond the threshold. Yeah. Mm, all of these options I want to click on. Oh, yeah. You do? My God, even more reasons not to mess with the <gasps> curtains. Just step away, dear sir. I'll think about it for a while. I think we should save, potentially. Yeah? Uh, no, no, okay, you're right, you're right. I need to get in there. Oh, police officer. Why? It's not like anyone was killed there. Ooh. She stops abruptly as her hand flies over her mouth, baffled by her own bluntness. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so impolite. Just please don't go there. I can't allow that. You'll only make things worse and unleash the powers. I want mm. to unleash the, the powers. Do seem frail, suddenly. Not robust enough to contain a slippery darkness. There's a fridge down there that I need. Everybody suddenly needs something from there. Leave the curtains be. It's what it wants. What are you... I can't! You can't stop me! No! Please just talk to me, officer. Come here and let's talk this through before you decide to do anything extreme. Talking is always good. Go see what she has to say. Let there me have your fridge! About the curtains. Be careful. Oh. The curtains, tattered with age and covered in dust, hang before you, as if taunting you. Shopkeeper, what's behind the curtain? Oh, yeah, leave, leave. And... I'll, I'll try and talk to her. Shall we say? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just like, please say before you unleash a curse that destroys us. Why is this? Oh, again? if you click on that, or, yeah. Oh, hey, it's a map. Can I open it? Use interact. What? The worn map features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez, with directions to appropriately touristy locations. Year 48 resides on the upper right corner. Your Can finger look moves at it? through the various streets, across Rue de saint Islaine and at... Rue saint -Sipa, like a map over saint Brun and Martinez North. Finally, coming to a halt on the spot where you are currently standing. Although the map gives no such indication itself. For a more detailed view of the map, mm -hmm. go to your journal and select the map tab. Okay. Journal. Map tab. Map! Okay, so this is of a fake version of our place. Yes. The place that we're in, but still. What are all of these? I don't know. These are found white checks. Those oh. on white are available to try now. So we... We haven't spoken with Kim. We haven't yet. spoken to him yet. 
So we should look at the mirror again. Might be some that we've tried already or not, right? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And that, like, we might need to unlock again. That's quite cool, though, that we can redo them as, you know, it's telling us where to go Yeah, back. I, yeah. I like that. Church, fisherman shacks. So, if Kim Kisaragi is here, that means that's where we are, right? Mm. So, we're... In, okay, so here's the this thing, which is still there. And we're in, like, here? Don't know. Shake my head. I guess so. Roughly around there. Yes. So there may or may not be a church here. And this may or may not be here. I'm thinking it's not, but there's something around there, right? Mm. We just can't get over at the moment because the, um... I assume we can't get over because the bridge is up. We think. We think. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um... I'll interact with that later. Let me through. Hello again, esteemed officer, and yes. welcome to Crime. Why are you so uptight about it? It's just a storage room for employees. I just need Let access to your go, basement. Officer. Go buy some goddamn books. You're supposed to be drawn to the books. If it's a strange room, then why does it have a ward protecting it? It's just for decoration. No, she doesn't believe that. Okay, fine. It's just because this place is cursed. Just like everyone said. They don't call it the doomed commercial area for nothing. I mean, the fact that everyone here is really poor might be why you're not selling a lot of books. Are you happy now, officer? Happy that you've ruined everything? I mean, what have Host of hosts, she prays. Guard me and my honest business venture from the curse that lurks behind the curtains. Hark, does this curse manifest? The curse is so much worse than you could imagine. It's a disease eating at the very foundation. Shiver runs through the woman and she looks around the dimly lit store. It's the curse of financial distress, of ruin (sighs) and bankruptcy. Didn't didn't that curtain just move? Uh... What does that mean? What does that mean? Everyone knows that all the previous companies in this building have sooner or later declared bankruptcy and their malicious spirits are still here, feeding off bad business practices and disappointing income statements. <laughs> OK. There's something wrong with this building, I can tell you. Ever since I arrived, I've sensed an eerie lingering presence, as if I was unwanted here. One of the bottom two. Would you like me to take the case? I could investigate and see if the curse is real. No, I don't care about that. I don't want to do that. I just need to get to the fridge. I don't think she'll agree, though, if we say that. Okay. Because she's the one who'll be impacted by it, not us, right? Yeah. Most certainly not. I don't want anyone who's not familiar with the psychic arts to get involved in this mess. Stay away. Leave the spirits be so they can return to their slumber. (sighs) My liege, do you know what this case calls for? A (laughs) paradetective. Oh! Yeah. Okay, so what are our options here? Seriously, I need to get to the fridge and the cellars. The police matter, I did body to take care of. I've had a few more questions about the curse, but I think we should go with Let's this. Let's do it. We did just save. Slither yes! up to her, you silver tongued fiend. Show her what world class perfidy looks like. <laughs> I've handled paranatural situations before. Are you sure? Don't think I haven't seen charlatans before. Hmm. I have returned from the void. That is true. A power detective from a long line you're of power no detectives. You're detective. You look nothing like one. And you're clearly a drinker. Pardon me for being so blunt, but... I mean... <laughs> I mean, yeah. We're standing just... here in gardening gloves with a... With a, 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 a what do you call these things? Clanger in our hands. Crowbar. You look yeah. like one. The lieutenant keeps his usual stony calm. He silently picks out his notebook. Go ahead then. Rock her world, he thinks. I'll compose some notes. Ooh, what do you reckon? Oh, I feel like both of these are good options. They are. I like the top one, I think. Yeah. How do you know all this? Here we go. Top one. 
Oh, uh, yes. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. Simonese. Oh, it means our meeting couldn't have been mere chance. The hand of fate guides us. <laughs> I love but this lady. I am not the only one at risk. I have to think of my daughter. You are certain you can help us? Keep us safe? I can't allow any collateral damage to hit us. We cannot drag Kim into this lie. We <laughs> <laughs> I am kind of curious what he would say, though. All right, let's go, let's go. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh... He's not been listening closely enough, and we've put him on Certainly the spot. Certainly so, ma'am. I can assure you my partner <laughs> is eminent in this particular field. Yes! <laughs> Thanks, Good Kim! Job. If you promise, good officer, then you might be our last hope. Do you swear it? Oh, oh my honour. Absolutely. There's one more thing I haven't told you about yet. The entity. Ooh. What's happening down here? Okay, okay, so it's just updated right. that quest. So we can actually probably go down there now, but... We should, uh... The Don't entity. Act surprised. You know of these things, yes. sire. Tell me you about have? the entity. The entity takes the form of a woman. A witch, probably. I've suspected that she must be connected to the curse ever since I first saw her. Did you know that she lives inside the chimney? <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah. That chimney is part of the building's central furnace, and it's enormous. She has barricaded herself behind some metal security curtains. Huh. God knows what she's doing there. I wonder if it's, it's just a um, real person. Kunonis. Some oh, unnatural yeah. magic, I assume. <gasps> Got the key you to the back door. The entity and ask what happened to all the companies in the building. What is the source of this curse? Yes. Here's the key to the warded door behind the curtains. Oh, Take it. Amazing. Thank you. Oh, and please do return to me after you've looked round. I'm quite anxious to know what she has to say about the curse. What you discover in there. Unbelievable right. darkness and ruin. Oh. What you discover? Probably just office space and that the looks... damn fridge. Don't be scared. We're out. Yeah. All right. We now, should. I know we're a bit over time, but I wondered if just before we finish, we could um, talk to Kim. Okay, that's fine. I was like, I am busting, but let's, 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 let's talk to Kim. Do you want to just go and I can no, clip it out? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kim. Yes? Mm. Oh, we've got plus one because of sorry cop. Oh, hey. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, I'll save it first. Feeling really good about how well yes. we did with that lady. Yes. Um, we just light our way right through that. Let's go. Look at you. Yes. yes. It's because you're a failure. They sent you to slight oh. precinct 57. Um, okay. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Just think about it for a second. You're a raging alcoholic who showed up three days late wearing piss stained disco garb. You weren't oh. sent here to win. Top one, I guess. We've got the we've got the morale to lose. Whew, okay. I've considered it. Oh, that's not true, right? I don't think I can say one way or another. I do think it's somewhat unlikely, though. I check the records. This jurisdiction dispute, who polices Martinez, reaches back to the 30s. It's as old as my station. And all this time, we can't decide who gets Martinez? I think, yes, both stations would prefer a win. Oh! So you are their finest. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah, I am the finest of nothing. <laughs> you really see me safe? as a safe bed. No, but you are old. You've made it this far. <laughs> Something has brought you through. We've only just started working together, so I don't know what it is yet. But it's there. Okay. It's our fucking psychic perception. Yes. So no, I don't think they sent you as a joke. And even if they did, they are in for a surprise. Can we ask about him? Yeah. Me? Yeah. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. We can work better together if we have rapport. Hmm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the, the investigation. Jacket. What do you want to know? Mm. Jacket. What? This? It's just seasonal clothing. Yeah, human pants. Where is this going? 
Uh, you see, Kim, I have this place in my head where I develop new yes. ideas and connections. Yes, that. Interesting. I think it's called a brain. Mm-mm. It's no mere brain. Normal people don't have this. It's like a mind laboratory, a spiritual R&D division. No, a palette. No, better yet, a painter's atelier of concepts. Nice. I want to say that. Let's go. Okay, art cop. <gasps> Maybe we can graduate from sorry cop to, to art, art cop. cop. Uh, you have some sort of sentiment towards... Yes. I do not harbour a sentiment for revolutionary air brigades in particular. Just air brigades? Okay, I wanted to become an aerostatic pilot. Hmm. Then I turned 10 and realised we no longer have an air force. Oh, really? (laughs) Ah, nice. Are you sure the revolutionary has got nothing to do with this? Or thank you, my mind is satisfied. My mind is satisfied. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Okay, that was fun. Um, do we want to try one of these? Uh, nah, not for now. Tell me a secret about yourself. Let's do it and see if he does it. I bet he no. won't. <laughs> <laughs> Go the on. The brain sends the signal to your lips, but they refuse the order. Something <laughs> is paralyzing them. Nice. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. Okay. It's like you're locked down. Give up. What's happening Something to me? Matter, detective. What's going on? It's like you're a puppet in his hands. We failed. What on earth are those noises? Oh, well, there's nothing we can do. The right. lieutenant relaxes his eyebrow, and you seem <laughs> to regain control of yourself. His uh... eyebrow has power over us. I love it. Um... I think that's it for now. now. Let's change the subject. Oh, I'm glad that we got to ask him that. Um, Did we... We... Do we... We we already got the, like, empathy towards him, eh? I believe so. That just, like, made those options available to us, right? I believe so. Okay. But it's a quest anyway, so we could always check that. True. Ask him... Oh, no, hang on. Um, We've already done this. Yes, we have. Ask him more about the case. Okay, we still have to ask him more. Although we also have an end of day briefing with him that happens at 9 p.m. So, okay. All right, friends. Um, I hope you had fun romping around with us. We actually did heaps in that one. We did. We did. We managed Um, to pack in some stuff at the end. I'm excited to find a new thing to click on next time. Yeah. Um, is it interesting interface in this? I sort of feel like there's like an area that we don't have. Mm. That's just got like, what is our level? Maybe we don't. It's just the top left is a combo of things. Yeah, maybe. Because mm. it keeps being like, you leveled up, but like, where's the... I think it just perhaps, I don't know, I'm guessing, gives us a point and then we, I don't know. That's cool though. Yeah. As always, let us know if there's anything in particular you want us to do next time. Yeah, and we will, otherwise we'll just continue to romp around. And yeah. um, I think we're going to try and get that body in the fridge, right? Yeah, find yeah. out who's this ghost in the chimney. Oh, that's so, I re- I'm hoping it's just a real person. Like, Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be out. a real person. It's going to be great. Yeah. So, friends, uh, join us next time and um, we'll see you then. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs>